Surely, Lord Grantham, you don't question Mr. Crawley's goal of making the estate self-sufficient? No, but I question his plans for the employees and tenants in order to achieve it. Can't we allow things to evolve more gently as we did in the past? The past is not much of a model. The third Earl nearly went bankrupt, the fourth only saved the estate by dying, and what would you all have done in the 90s without Lady Grantham's money? I say, Murray, when I asked you to say what you think, I didn't mean to be taken literally. Must we talk in this way? Yes, I'm afraid so. Thanks to Mr. Swire, we have another chance, but we have to change our ways. All I'm talking about is investment, increasing productivity and reducing waste. Waste? Yes, the estate has been run very wastefully for many years. I won't listen to this. Now, come on, Jarvis. If I can listen to it, so can you. No, Lord Grantham, I can't. Am I to stand here after 40 years of loyal service to be accused of malfeasance uh, and corruption? Nothing of the sort. Oh, my dear chap, think for a moment. We must both see things have to move forward. My goal is to find a way of least disruption. Won't you stay and help me with that? My Lord... Will you give me a good reference? Yes, of course I will. Mr Jarvis, if I have offended you, then I offer my sincerest apologies. I'm the old broom, Mr Crawley. You are the new. I wish you luck with your sweeping, my lord. How was it? Pretty bad. Jarvis has resigned. What? He's gone. And I'm going to have to make it all work, or I've had it. Come here. You'll make me untidy. Good. You see, I know it's right, Mary. I believe I can make Downton safe for our children if we ever have any. But I can only do it if you're with me. But what about Papa? I do love him. Love him by all means. But believe in me. There. Will that convince you? Convince me again. I can hardly believe it. I used to come here all the time as a boy. Run to Mummy Georgie. Edith, alone on the town, what will she get up to? So what do you think I should do? Would you like a London life? The fact is, I'd like a life. 